Hi, good afternoon. My name is Tunisha Samuel and I am here with KBTV. Today we are at RAFA, which is Royal Air Force Association, and we are having a short session on media skills. I'm here with Janina Mother and two other of her colleagues, who I will just ask a few questions about how was the workshop for them. Generally? Um, the workshop was very informative. I uh, learned a lot. Basically, you learned to write um, not so much a story, but interviews and short press releases, etc. Would you be interested in doing this as a career? Um, yeah, why not? Because I'm interested in sports and sports journalism. The whole idea I did the course is because I saw it as something I could probably do in the future. Okay, and what big event is it happening is happening soon that you could report on in your field? Okay, well, soon we'll have the under-19 NACRA tournament. That is an international tournament. So that's one of the biggest events that we could come around and get a little feedback from most of the international players as well, and not just our own TNT. I'm here with Lisa Allen Agostini. So she's going to tell us a bit about the session this morning. Um, hi, and uh, the session this morning was essentially about... Um, how to conduct a, a profile interview and how to write it up for print media. Um, we also looked at some basics of television interviewing and um, I believe you all worked on some technical things about, about using TV. Mm -hmm. One of the things for me is that this was a very interesting course because I want to be able to report on the games that we had and I want to know if this would be open to other people so they would be more interested in it and they would be able to come and, and get the same things that I got. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened is this course was really undersubscribed. We had, we had um, I think, in, expressed interest by about 25 people and only four showed up. So we are looking at having a repeat. So yes, definitely more people will be exposed to it. Personally, I believe that th that was a plus for us and a minus. <laughs> a plus in that we got that individual attention and we were able to, to, to chart our ideas and stuff like that. And it was a minus because it's not, the fraternity in itself wouldn't be exposed to it, which is very important. That's what I think. Agreed. Um, but like I said, we're going to have a repeat it'll be up to the union to um, schedule it and so on but the president has expressed that um, he found it was very useful and it should be repeated for more people good afternoon once again I'm here with Dennis Allen the mastermind behind this <laughs> hey. behind this this session he's gonna tell us a little bit more about himself and what is his goals hi how are you doing um, KVTV how are you doing are uh, we were approached um, by Janine Sandy. Uh, she's a representative of the rugby union, and she wanted to increase the profile of the sport of rugby uh, in the media. And I, I explained to her that yes, I could do, uh, I could be like a consultant, and you pay me, and whatever you need, I will get done. Or I can train people so that your, the people in the sport who are active and enthusiastic about the sport could leverage that. Uh, involvement into more media space. Uh, not all of media these days, as well uh, as every KVTV fan knows, it's not all about mainstream media anymore. So it's not about trying to get your stuff in the newspapers or on TV and the news. It's about building an audience on a one-on-one. -on -one. Somebody who wants to know about the sport will find the, their, their way to the information. So it's really up to the union and people like yourself mm -hmm. to get that information out there. So that's what we were trying to facilitate today. That, it, it, that is very good because we have schools and we have on the 19s, we have women, we have senior men, we have in San Fernando, we have in, in the East and as you say we would have big games and there wouldn't be as much people because people are not informed and now that we have KBTV and other sporting companies that would assist us and I am very happy that you took your time and your effort in, in consulting with us rather than taking the money yeah. and running with it because come on and it, it, it's very good so how often would you try to have this these sessions again well the first thing is um, what's coming up for the rugby union and most of the national sporting organizations in Trinidad and Tobago is that the Ministry of Sport I believe through the sport company is doing an umbrella website that will be hosting each NSO's individual website so it's gonna be like uh, if you want to call it a Facebook for all Trinidad and Tobago sport 
So it's really up to the, the union to now put together information to get out to the audience. So uh, workshops like this, um, the intention is really to build that competency within the people who are actively involved in the sport so that they can continue to use, and, like I said, leverage their enthusiasm and interest and to get information out of it. So. Um, as often as the, the union needs, as often as you all need. Um, like I said, the sport is national. It's, it's all different age groups. And um, there are only three newspapers in Trinidad, three mainstream newspapers. And each newspaper would only have one person assigned to rugby, in addition to maybe about four or five other sports. Yeah. So really waiting on them to come to every rugby match is not going to happen. But you know what? You're a fan of your own team. Now we're trying to teach you how to write a good story, put together a good press release, how to do a nice interview, uh, something like this. And you know what? You could put it on KVTV. Right. Exactly. Now, one of the things that you said, and I, I like that, is that you don't necessarily have to be a player. You can be a brother, a exactly. sister, a mother, a grandmother that came to the games, interested in it, and able to put it up on either Twitter, KVTV, anything. 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 You, you know, as simple as you're at your game and you put up a Facebook post about at the game, go Royal Aliens or go UE or go Caribs. A simple thing like that, somebody might say, oh, only have a game today, yeah. I might pass. You know, and, and simple things like that go so far. And right now, in, in the world of sport, a lot of the media, the mainstream media, gets the root of the information on tweets, on Instagram photos, on YouTube posts. So it's really about the citizen reporter rather than waiting for somebody to come and, you know, like, oh, oh this yeah. orchestra of angels comes yes. to save your sport. Hi, I'm here with Tanisha. Yes. A brand new KVTV presenter. Now, first of all, today you've been on some kind of small, short course. Yes, yes. On how to basically be a journalist. Yes. yes. Right, interesting. Very interesting. Yes. Um, so how did you find it? I find it was very interesting, very informative. I am able now to write a report and be concise, be straight to the point, and even when I am doing journalism, put my personal finesse to it. Right. So uh, you've always wanted to be a journalist? Always wanted to be. Okay. And, and now this, Dennis and Lisa give me the opportunity to at least, you know, get it going. Okay, so y have you ever done any kind of journalism before? Well, a few weeks ago there was an international game at the stadium, here's the Crawford Stadium, and I was thrown into it. And because I wasn't accustomed to it, I, I, I found myself watching the game rather than reporting on the game or informing people about the game. It was more of me, uh-huh, okay, yes. <laughs> so what was that? Was that print? No, it was um, radio, radio announcing. Oh, right. Yes. So it who, for who? For um, WeTV, I think it was, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I was just there and, Tisha, could you do this? Sure, I will, I can assist. We, we Sports? We Sports, yes, oh it was, We Sports. Nice. So, uh, you probably don't even realize this, like as you've um, just presented a KVTV show, mm -hmm. you actually get automatically entered to our competition called the Kuftas. So in 2015, there'll be an event and you would automatically be entered. And we'll, we'll take your details mm -hmm. and we'll send you some information about that. But best of luck for the Kuftas. Thank you very much. You know, so yes, Tanisha, brand new KVC presenter. Hopefully you'll be seeing her maybe again on KVTV. Yes, you never you know. Will. Yes, you will. You'll be seeing me a lot. <laughs> Great film. Caribbean Ultimate Fist Party! Good day KVTV fans, we're down at Drift Motion 3. About to go in and see what the pitch lake is all about. Now, it's one of the largest um, pitch lakes in the world. There are three, one in Los Angeles and one in Venezuela as well. Um, 